Hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how to back up and keep your files safe using one quick method that doesn't require any downloads whatsoever. It's free and it comes with Windows. And basically I'm talking about the Windows Easy Transfer. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically another backup option in Windows that we have so we can save our files. So for example I have I've just done a backup of all my files right here it's in this one thing and all I have to do is open it from my external hard drive and just select the the user account that I already backed up to the, the account I want I hit next and it's gonna restore all my settings to how I backed it up exactly to that account so all my documents pictures music videos everything now how can you do this well First you want to go down to the start menu here and just type in easy and then click on Windows Easy Transfer, hit continue. Right, after you hit continue and you will see this window comes up. You want to click next and this is basically a brief summary of what it does which I just told you guys. Hit next and you want to click start new transfer and then it's going to ask you which computer are you using now. If you already have done a backup and say you've restored Windows Vista to a clean install you're gonna click new computer this is my new computer or you can just double click on the file but in this case you're gonna select this is my old computer so this way you get to back up our files now you, you could use um, a network to back up your files to like a server or you can use an easy transfer cable which is I think like twenty dollars so you can connect two computers together basically the same thing as a network and, or you can use an external drive, DVDs, flash drives, anything that you can write to. So you're going to select that because we're going to be using an external um, drive. But it's the same thing. So from here, we're going to select external hard disk or network location. Now, I'm not actually going to be installing this onto a separate, um, like an external drive. It's actually a separate partition on my computer. So I already set up a partition and if you guys want to know how to set a partition in Windows Vista, I'll actually make a video on that for you guys following this one so you know exactly what to do. But I already have the file saved here so I don't need to go through this. Alright, so after you select the location, I'm just going to name it back up to here. Hit save. You don't even need to create a password. You could if you want to. They encrypt everything. Hit next. And this is where it already comes down to you. You can back up all the users on your computer. So if, if it's like a family computer, you're going to do it, an entire family desktop to Windows 7. You're going to select all users and files and everything. Or you can just select your account. So I'm just going to select my account. And then from here, we're going to hit customize. And we just want to select and deselect anything that we want and don't need. Now, notice over here it says transfer size. Now, the bigger it gets, the longer it's going to take, obviously. The smaller it gets, the less time. And this doesn't even take long. This took me like 5 to 10 minutes to back up all my files, and I have a lot of files. So the first thing I recommend you doing is um, just making sure you have all your documents and everything selected here. Nothing's unchecked that you don't need any important thing. All right, I just want to unclick Windows Settings and Application Settings. and Basically, what application setting is is like media player, QuickTime, and Office. Like nothing too big. So not like Photoshop. Anything from Photoshop is gonna save here. No. And Windows settings is basically like security, tablet, hardware, network. Basically, if you're doing a, a clean install of an OS, you don't want any of the settings you had before you want it to be fresh and clean so it's fast so you just want to uncheck that you can go ahead and check it if you like but I recommend unchecking it if you're going to be doing a restore or upgrade or something like that so once you have selected your files and if you notice that one of the folders you're looking for is not here you want to go to add folders and then just navigate to it and select it so I'm not going to select next here because I've already done this. So all you do is press next and it's going to go ahead and back up all your files. So I'm just going to quit the wizard here. 
So once you've gone ahead and backed up all your stuff and you've done your upgrade to seven, which is what I recommend using this for, or if you're you've gone ahead and reinstalled Windows Vista, you're gonna start up fresh again. All you have to do is simply double click on the file once again, navigate to wherever you saved it, or if you burned it to a DVD or something. I, I'm not sure how that process works, but I'm pretty sure you can Google it and find out exactly how the DVD process to this works. You be, I guess you just put in the DVD and it, it's going to run you through it and whatever. But that's how you save Windows EG transfer backup files to a external partition, well not partition, hard drive or an internal partition on your current hard drive. Now I recommend you save this to an external hard drive because you don't want to back up your files and then your hard drive suddenly dies and then all your files, even your backup files are on that same hard drive which makes no sense. So I recommend getting an external hard drive. If you can't, I recommend partitioning. 